Okay. Some background noise is coming. You need to mute it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, yes, this is uh, SAP PS CapEx project with uh, IM Investment Management. So, the uh, purpose of this CapEx project is that uh, for the investment programs is an outline an organization targets for a uh, capital investment projects. And these projects can include the replacement of production equipments and detection of new products or significant repair work. Uh, the goal is to strategically allocate the resources to ensure the long-term productivity and output from the cost centers. The benefits of uh, the capital projects is that the investment programs allows the organization to plan the plan for the future by allocating the resources towards the critical projects and that will have a lasting impact on the company's operations. And by setting a budget ceiling for uh, capital expenses, an organization can control spending while still pursuing essential uh, projects. And the budget uh, distribution features uh, ensures the project managers adjust to their allocated budgets. Uh, promoting accountability with the organization and the key process covered is the development of investment program so this involves in identifying the prioritizing capital investment projects and uh, which may include equipment replacement product launches and major uh, repair initiatives and uh, cost center hierarchy utilization so the same organization structure used in the cost center plan is often applied to the structure the investment program ensuring the alignment on the overall financial objectives so the budget uh, setting and monitoring of that uh, IM investment uh, management. So establishing a budget serves as a ceiling for the capital expenses and helping to manage the variability in spending this process, which includes uh, setting limits for each program position and distributing the budgets to the underlying projects or orders. So the required uh, <coughs> thing is S4 HANA and the main com company roles involved in the process for this project controller project uh, logistic controller, finance controller, procurement, plan maintenance controller, quality controller and business editor. So detailed process description is that the investment program definition. So this step involves in the creating a comprehensive investment program that outlines the capital investment uh, projects to be taken, to be undertaken. So it serves as a framework for the planning activities and budget setting verification. In this budget setting, <coughs> We are having a checking to access that ensures the program budget aligns to the organization objectives and constraints. So linking budget to the projects and orders. So the budget distribution annual, annual check is enabled to prevent the orders from the project from exceeding their allocated annual budgets and this ensures the project managers stay in, within the budgetary limits during the process, uh, planning process. <coughs> So let us uh, see the because here we are prepared a uh, integration with all the six modules. So the process diagram is a little bit big. So I will open the PDF uh, format so to have a better clarity on that. So can you see the PDF file? Yes, yes. So here the modules we covered in this uh, process is that IM, PS, PM, MM, QM and FICO. So the process start like this, like uh, we are creating an investment pro <coughs> program and positioning ID in the IM model. So the finance controller will create this investment program. Then he will create the program structure based on that investment. What all the structure is there? How many type of activities is going to be taken care? Like we are having one cap CapEx project means underneath what is the other structures? like land acquisition, like new building construction, the equipment maintenance related equipment purchase like that, he will prepare the structure. Then he will maintain the budget for that uh, individual uh, investment structure. Once the budget is got allocated means then the project controller will uh, <coughs> create the appropriate request to the request by mentioning the capex requirement and what is the allocation st uh, structure and what is the cost uh, incurred for that particular allocation st structure and uh, the respective organization elements like uh, cost centers and the respective plant and all they will be updating on that. Once it is gone means then it will go to the business head uh, with the workflow process then you will approve the appropriation request then they will activate the project and allocate the budget. Once they are allocating the budget here, here they will be directly creating a project definition in the IM itself. That itself the project definition will be created with the budget allocation. From there, the structure will be created in PS for the same project allocation. 
based on that what are all the with reference to the high level budget approval so what are the activities which is needed for the project to be planned that will be done so in the process we will be having a work center creation for capacity evaluation and for the respective im structure we will be having a project cost planning then project budgeting will be there then the approval process will be uh, sent to the business head and he will be approving the approval process then the project will be getting released once it is got released means here we are having two different uh, segments one we are linking the pm like a plan maintenance module for this uh, uh, expenses monitoring what is the budget and what is the expenses for that so for that what we are doing is that we are creating a notification with reference to the work center what we created and with reference to the functional location we are creating a notification to the particular equipment then we are creating a maintenance order the maintenance order is linked with the wbs which is already in the project structure so based on that the availability check will be done then based on that availability check <clears throat> the process will start like uh, the creation of the pr with reference to the budget execution the creation of pr will be there then as per the investment requirement they ask for a vendor evaluation process will be taken mm module then after that rfq process will be done then uh, vendor rate comparison will be done once over is the competitive vendor the orders will be released to that particular vendor then once the order is released before releasing the order the po approval will be going to the business head once it's got approved from the business head it will be released to the vendor once order released to the vendor the order will supply the material here we will be going for a quality inspection plan for that particular uh, material so we will be taking a delivery for that particular goods in terms of gr from there it will be going to the quality inspection va32 so there the user decision will be made if there if it is met the quality requirement as per the po so the uh, goods will be posted to the unrestricted stock then based on the availability check in the pm what are the stock available in the unrestricted location or the storage location will be issued to the maintenance order then maintenance will get complete then order confirmation will be done then order closure will be done then after that the settlement process will start similarly for uh, <clears throat> similarly for your services what are the services we discussed yesterday like in terms of any hiring service any equipment service related to that we will be creating a service entry to that then the invoice invoice and payment process will be done and after that it will be going for the project settlement from that so project settlement in the final phase we will be, we'll be taking a final confirmation from the project based on the activity completions what all the activity has been done what all the confirmations will needs to be taken it will be done from that after confirmation is done we will be creating an asset in the project structure what is the asset which has been the final asset we will be creating the asset and after that asset we will be closing the networks and uh, the respective uh, wbs uh, <coughs> activity after the final completion all the Uh, required postings all been done means we will be closing that particular project and the particular asset will be handed out to that uh, the next project team so this is the process uh, okay so here uh, the what are the module you have mentioned here so here we are having uh, the im investment management ps pm mm qm and fsc okay so here this is internal project so we don't have any kind of sales right yeah sales it is not there we can link sales also if it is there going for any uh, revenue related part return on investment means we need to have the sale order uh, uh, part okay because an im part also we can we can in the appropriate request itself we can mention the revenue part where it, how much revenue it is been planned for that once that is got created means we can go for a sales related uh, thing mm-hmm. either we can go for a uh, assembly or directly we can go for a uh, individual sale order uh, resource related billing process that we can do it okay so this is the any uh, what kind of investment project uh, any example so it is basically they are going for a capex investment only capital expenditures mm-hmm. capital expenditures they are uh, like uh, the construction of a new office block like a new building they are going to construct which is not going to get any revenue at present so based on that uh, 
because we can do it in two ways one we can directly create an automatic uh, asset under construction like you are having an asset class of uh, uh, based on the asset class we will have an investment uh, profile we will uh, uh, assign that asset class to the investment profile and directly that investment profile can be assigned to the wbs itself that is one process there this approval process and all will not be there because im is directly related to the approval related process they have to have some monitoring and control on the budget okay so it is a specific requirement they need for uh, uh, budgetary control then initiation control and uh, ideation from the particular group of uh, people so they need to have put some idea on the system so that need to be approved by the entire team then should be having a workflow to talk through the budgets so that's a, that is the reason we are uh, putting im here or else we can directly go with an uh, asset class creation and assign with the investment profile and we can directly create the uh, auto in so system will automatically create once it got released so there this uh, budgetary release and workflows and all will not be there that mm-hmm. okay yeah okay So I think here we need uh, IM module is required, right? Controlling yes. and uh, let's see maybe if they have they are good good in. Uh, But the capex uh, seems somewhere in P P P only they are telling about capex uh, related subject only. But the scope only I just. Uh, mm-hmm. Capex actually okay. So here like. Uh, So they don't have any kind of investment related project actually. So desire, I don't think so. They have. Uh, uh, because this can be. This is one type of process that we can include. Yeah, yeah. That is not not necessary to use IM. That is not necessary to use IM. We can. We can. We are having an option to uh, create an asset class and we can assign to PS also. Mm-mm. Is needed means that is uh, the business requirement. If there is a requirement, we can go for IM. Okay. 